Use the yields. Alright. Come on, you little babies. Oh, journal, journal, journal. Nope. Whoa. Read stena stegon stenographers? Steganographers in autonomous archetype. Jesus Christ. We'd like to enable a model for how our heuristic might behave in theory. It seems to hold in most cases, divided the fact that stegosaurus usually estimate the exact opposite. A methodology depends on this property for correct behavior. We assume that each component for our heuristic creates autonomous archetypes, independent of all other components. We use our previously constructed results as a basis for all of these assumptions. Our framework relies on the significant methodology outlined in last week's paper by Okoa. Any technical exploration of the simulation of vegetation growth will clearly require that reinforcement can be made empathic, optimal, and heterogeneous. Our framework is no different. Any intuitive deployment of chemical compounds will clearly require that congestion control keeps coming, and natural growth levels are often incompatible inside aardvarks. We must find the middle ground. Also, I'm going to take this sweet-ass rocket pen. Why did no one get me a sweet-ass rocket pen for my fucking birthday? Ah, oh, this, this is the best. I'm using this for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, Christina. Ooh. Axeman away! I am Axeman. Oh dear. Axeman has stolen all your, your, your nerd candies. Mmm. Axeman has no time for such frivolities. Axeman away. Oh shit, I don't have a helmet on. I'm gonna die. Axeman. Spacesuit. Spacesuit helmet. Spacesuit Axeman. Okie dokie. Come on, you little babies. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? He's as small as Jerry. Bum, bum, bum. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? Here come my tiny companions. <laughs> Ooh, we're back. We're back, computer. Computer. A computer. I'm a computer. Stop all the download. I don't know about much about computers. My mom got a computer. She put some games on it. I don't. Welcome. User not. Pretty sure I do. Please wait for the system to fair checking for high levels. Yes. Checking for compact. Yes. Checking for honey palm low station black box. Checking for access to. Wait. What the hell do I? Go Oh, do I have to open the briefcase? All right. Oh my god. So when we used the crutch, <laughs> it got closer to us. It didn't become part of our inventory. I didn't realize that. I thought we picked it up, but we didn't. It just slowly got closer to us. Kine sample accepted. Good day, Dr. Coca-Cola. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Silencer. Give me that briefcase. Honey Pomelo Station Black Box. Holy bejeebus. Thank gosh. Alright, we are going to cheat fast travel. Groovatron! <laughs> also, I found out because I went in the Gek. <laughs> There's a little funny Easter egg back here. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> What's this? Nothing? Fuck you! <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I went in the geck and I was like, oh my god, it just moved closer to me. I didn't actually pick it up. Access granted. Welcome, station leader Agnesa Coca-Cola. ID that. As per request, Honey Pamela Station is no longer an emergency lockdown. Hydrochloric depuration apparatus is now active notification is notification to sister station and central base has been delivered have a very safe and productive day safe so what's next 
I placed this here when I was testing. Um, Welcome, Kakashkova. Kakashkova. Give me a status report, yo. Honey Pomelo Station is working at optimal capacity. Generators online. Air recyclers functional. Decontamination systems enabled. Dr. Hammond. Warning. Personal information processor monitoring system reports 12 users offline. Reasons unknown. Sending paint to test for responsiveness. No response. Please take the necessary measures to prevent biohazard contamination until cleanup team arrives. Dr. Hammond, the phones are working. Who's behind this moon pro base project? Pinging information to station leader's personal information processor. No response. Information unavailable. Please try again later. You dirty computer bitch. Who was the man trying to gain access to the mainframe earlier? Previously logged user is Vincent Vandenberg. ID 0953247-8-3. User attempted to gain unauthorized access to security override control. Central base has been notified. Contract for ID 0953247-8-3 has been terminated. Individual must be kept in custody until eviction team arrives. Eviction team. I've got the sole password here. Does it return anything? Enter Xmander's password. Checking for available data. One background brief found. An Xmander Gerasimenko Molotov. Age 25. Married. No children. Studies. Anti-gravity engineering. Self-taught degree. No criminal file found. Warning. Contract with individual has been terminated. Entry will be purged during next data update. Thank you for your interest. Where, what are the sister stations you mentioned? Checking for stations currently linked to Honey Pomelo. Three stations found at Albatnius, Rida and Tereshkova. Sleepyhead station is currently researching adaptation of live subjects to fluctuating light levels. Main experiment progress is at 51%. Ugh. Freezing Feet Station is currently researching gravitational effects of lunar movement on terrestrial seas. Main experiment progress is at 77%. Life and First Station is currently researching the effects of isolation and music in human subjects. Main experiment progress is at 67%. This all sounds very vault techy and horrible. You go to the moon to test subjects. How far along are the experiments here? Checking performance reports. Honey Pomelo Station is currently researching terraforming and vegetation growth suitable for human consumption. Main experiment progress is at 23%. Warning, lower than average performance. Payment for all <laughs> station members has been reduced by 20% until main research progress is at 50% or higher. Uh, I'd like to run a b brief background check. Please select station member. Hey everybody. Agnesa Coca-Cola. Agnesa Luravna Kakashkova. Age 24. Married. No children. Studies. Doctor of Medicine at Crescent Hiller University, England. No criminal file found. Yet. Christina Mikofalov. Krista Corrigan Mikolov. Age 37. Married. Son and daughter. Studies, Botanical Taxonomy at Concord University, Vermont. No criminal file found. Daniel McHairs. Daniel Irvin McNair. Age 35. Single, no children. Studies, Biotechnology at Carver Academy, South Carolina. No criminal file found. Yet. Danica McKellar. Danica Liz McKellar. Age 33. Married, daughter. daughter, studies, biotechnology at La Jolla Academy, California, criminal file, drug possession and truancy. Francis Scooby, Scooby, Francis Richard Scobby, Scobby. age 46, married, son and daughter, studies, ethnobotany at Auburn University, Washington, no criminal file found. Washington. Six foot five, made of radiation. <laughs> six stories tall, that's six foot five. Giovanni Ricciola, Riccioli. Giovanni Beto Riccioli. 
age 26. Single, no children. Studies, biotechnology at Piacenza Academy, Italy. Criminal file, disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace, having a great party. Um, Werner Hadley, Werner, Werner? Werner Brown Hadley. Werner. Age 32. Married. Son. son. Married son. Studies. Anti-gravity engineering at Technische Hochschule Berlin, Germany. No criminal file found. Uh, Jimothy Luna, Luna, Luna face. Jimothy Lawrence Lunicod. Age 25. Widower. Oh. No children. Studies. Mechanical engineering at Sond Academy, Ohio. No criminal file found. Damn, Jimothy can't catch a break. He's a widower? Jeez. Judith Resnick. Judith Shafelia Resnick. Age 36. Divorced? No. Okay, alright. You you all get the point. Um, I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. Lisa Valerie Cudro. Drug possession. Valentina Ocola. Valentina Bailey Ochoa. No criminal file. See, this is a mystery. Vincent Vanden Bananas. Vincent Jensen Vandenberg. Utah. Warning. Contract with individual has been terminated. Entry will be purged during next data up. Nice. How about past members, bro? Checking records. Five former members. Oh, Erwin Schrute terminaled. Former biotechnologist. Contract terminated due to necessary amalgamation to cut expenses. Oh, where's Ali a... Fana, former no. chief biologist and station leader. Contract terminated due to lethal workplace injury. Blend abdominal trauma with gardening tool. Ouch. Upsley Leo, former molecular biologist. Contract terminated due to lethal workplace injury. <laughs> closed head trauma with gardening tool. What happened? Yuan Dolls, former botanist. Contract terminated due to gross misbehavior. Unprovoked attack upon oh. crew with gardening tool, resulting in loss of life. And Aximander Molotov, former anti-gravity technician. Contract terminated due to non-lethal workplace injury. Loss of balance during convoy detail. I fell. Not listed. Twelve members who have been transferred to sister stations and or set killed. Um, that's all. User access to crew's records has been logged. Damn right it has been. I need to go, sex robot. Locking you off. Have a very safe- No promises, I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh, I forgot you guys are tiny. Alright, let's get you up to scale. Let's get up to scale. Up to scale. Let's get up to scale. Janet, you look bigger. Sorry. If I said that to a wife in real life, I'd have my face ripped off. Enforcer. Alright. What am I doing now? Going home? Return to Alex on Earth. At Anna. Jesus Christ. Return to Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, yeah, oof, uh, alright, you want the bad news or the really bad news? Actually, I don't know which way, which order they go in. Oh, give me the bad news. Alright, uh, oh, your wife was cheating on you. What? Yeah, no, yeah, she totally banged this guy named Jimothy. J Jimothy? Well, I'm gonna have to have a talk to her about this. Alright, yeah, here's the really bad news. What's that? Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, everyone, everyone, they're all dead. All super dead. What? Oh, what? Yeah, no, they're they are super, super goddamn dead. Oh Jesus. Yep. Well, where's my uh, payment? Where's my payment? <laughs> now that everyone's dead, and your wife cheated on you. I wonder if he's gonna. Cause, all right. So there are a lot of ways this quest can end. Uh, there are multiple ways that decisions you make so when we get back where is this taking me moon rock what um all right what is there a there's no cave i wish i could take my pit boy out You'll need some type of tools. Perhaps if you found an old-timer miner, you could ask him about what type of tool you could use. My name is Old-Timer Miner, and I have a degree in mining. Rover Garage. 
garage. Aluminum, aluminium. Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. Where the fudge sickle am I supposed to be going? All right. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, everyone. I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't mean just, just keep going, all right? I'm sorry I touched you. Welcome, Kakashkova. Kakashkova. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Return to... Yeah, okay. Hello. Hello there. I can't read that. What is this about dinosaur nuggets? What the hell are di dinosaur nuggets? Are they just chicken nuggets in the form of dinosaurs? Dinosaur nuggets. Ooh, Chef Boyardee's on there, too. Dinosaur nuggets. Oh my god, we can read this. <laughs> oh, that's a, okay. We're reading. That's when I just have arrived at Honey Pie Mall Station. Calmly, I type in this thing I decided to put in the mod, and I figure I could write down a diary of sorts in here. Nobody's gonna read this after all, so I've been working on the mod for I don't know about a month or something, of time sort, quite a while, and I'm close to finishing the damn interior cells. I've been thinking of what I should put as a souvenir. I wanted to put a hat, but I can't find a way to have the Terra's Radiant logo in that front, so I've decided to make a new snow globe. I've separated the pieces of something, Blender, and now they just need retexturing. That should be fun and something relaxing to work on, at least. Oh, wait. Let's do this. Where are we? Easter eggs, everyone. It's awesome. Tough day, but at least the globe worked, and it looks awesome. I'm really proud. I watched the Orion launch and Voyager online while I worked. Great source of inspiration. I've also finished interiors. Just need to finish the last one of the moon buildings, and I'll start working on the world space itself. Of course, later I'll have to work on the buildings on Earth, but that's going to be way easier than this. I'm really tired since I had to do a lot of tests, tasks like laundry around the house as well. But hey, I don't work at Bethesda, so I can't spend all day working on the mod. I just need to sleep now. Today I barely worked on the mod at all. I knit during the day oh, and coordinated my voice actors, sent out some scripts, and received one of the recordings. I mess around, may mess around with some stuff before going to bed, but I really need a day relax and not think about this. Ugh, what a tough couple of days. I've been really busy, so I've not gotten around to work on the mod at all, besides a couple of textures. But I got some voice recordings back at least. I think I may have slipped a slipped disc from that time I helped bring in a literal truckload of colon. So my back is also killing me. At least sitting down helps. I feel so tired and annoyed, but I'm glad to be making progress. I've just started on the last, oh no, the last what? Last what? AK, why the heck would you put in that kind of food? Friend Dan is really into dinosaurs. Oh my God, this is so funny. Uh, all right. On the last what? Start working on the last what? On the last building, the second floor of the communication room. Oh, I gotta read this. Hopefully, after that, I can start working on the new world space and set up some new scripts I've been cooking up. Is there stuff on the bottom? Doo doo doo. That's right, everyone. We're, take, we're taking a detour to look at the mod author's little Easter egg, which is hilarious. I love this. I literally spent all of my modding time yesterday setting up all the wires in the something generated area. Who knew aligning poles would be so damn difficult? Ugh. And I still got to do it with the rest of the facilities. Well, at least I got that out of the way. Just need to finish that off so I can move to other things. I'm still not very happy with the landscape, but we'll have to do. So damn tired of this. I haven't updated this in a while. But progress is still going steady. I moved in from landscaping for for a while to implement the rest of the quest, including the three different endings and all the dialogue. I've also set up the version of that NPC who will be available as a follower. <gasps> He repairs, sells, and plays cards, among other things. Now I'm back to landscaping again. Oh, now we got bullet points. Bullet points. Wow, 0. 0.5 is way too quick. All right. I downsized the new world space some more, which is probably crazy considering how small it is to start with, but I want to avoid having to create LODs if I can. Besides, it's less work that way. I sent the first chunk of dialogue to the voice actor. I really hope it comes through, although I'm getting worried. At least if things go south, I could always look for someone else. Male voice actor is not nearly as difficult to find as ladies. I should know. I'm planning to see if I can expand the follower 
later with a small romance subplot, nothing to elaborate because I just don't have the time and I need to move on so I can worry about my visa. Just something simple and fun. Where you going? Where you going, Jokerine? Um, I don't know if it's just because I've gone through the quest so many times during testing, but it feels sort of unimpressive now. It's not. It's not un impressive. Look, we're still here. This is very impressive, Jokerine. Don't, don't, don't say that about you. Mod, it's awesome. I don't know if it's just because I've gone through the quest so many times. I mean, the base and the moon are really small, and it's just a glorified fetch quest. But what is important here is learning, at least for me. I hope people are not disappointed, but they'll just have to live with it. Jokerine, we we enjoy this. You you rebuilt Nipton, Jokerine. You're awesome. Progress is being made, weeks later. It's been a while again since I last wrote here. I guess I keep forgetting, but I am pleased to report I've made major strides. Not only have I completed the script and the main quest, all branching endings, unique rewards and such, but I've also finished the extra quest to find Max, our girlfriend. Oh, spoilers! <laughs> On the two unmarked mini quests to tell him about Ignacio's secret and to remove his chip. Remove, being a matter of speaking, I had thought about making his head explode and went with it after my husband told me that he likes to pop people's heads in Fallout. Crazy, I know. Then I went with a medicine alternative that simply gives Max amnesia. Cliché, no doubt, but eh. Alright, I'm gonna guess Jokerine's a lady, then. Jokerine could be a guy, though. I had been a bit worried because almost a whole week passed since the voice actor delivered his lines, but he finally sent me another delivery. Really pleased. Waiting for them is always worth it. I've been all day coding them in and playing through all the main quests, squishing little bugs, following mistakes, fixing mistakes and all that. Uh, it takes a long time. It's mostly satisfying. I still remember how harrowing the task scene when I had started on the interiors. I've come a long way since then. Really excited. <laughs> there really is, like, even more. Holy shit. Oh, wow, it, it goes... Okay, so we... Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna read this later on. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Right, I just remembered I had no idea what the fuck we were doing. Oh, dear. Well, we'll be back, everyone. Alright, everyone, so I took a look at the walkthrough. Apparently, we need to uh, get a bunch of... Um, what is it called? Uh, paradite ores? Is that paradite? Mineral ore. Alright, we need seven paradite ores, and we need an empty glass jar and one thing of hydrochloric acid. Then we go to the main area, which is here, and there's a refiner, and that's how we make the fuel. I'm pretty sure, um, let's, let's actually just go down here. I don't know where the refiner is. The refiner turns on when you activate the, uh, codes, though. I were a refiner. This is a terminal? Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, that is a lot. Cookbook for boys and girls. I'm read this. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Lisa. <laughs> Uh, no, Lisa, what well, there we go. Oh, wow, this is a... Alright, we'll read this. Oh, boy. I gotta... I know we need to read this, and we need to read the one... Let me get back. Okay, so there is a refiner somewhere in here. I just want to find it now, because why not? Plus, it might... Um... I just want to see how you would go about this. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Sweet. Uh, seven paradite ore, empty glass jar, hydrochloric acid. Alright. I picked, I'm pretty sure I picked up hydrochloric acid before. We're gonna take all the medicine. I were hydrochloric acid, where would I be? Well, I guess we can figure that out later. I think we may have even picked up hydrochloric acid. I've picked up so many things. Ooh, a sponge. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Okay. Alright, let's go get these ores. Uh, you're supposed to get a hammer. I do. I, I just spawned myself a hammer. Hopefully that'll work. If it doesn't, I guess I'll go off to find a hammer then. Yeah, Paradise War. Okay, so we need seven. One. No. <laughs> One. No. <laughs> moon rock. I think the moon rocks are just collectibles. They don't really do anything. Get up there, you whore. Janet, push me. Push me, Janet. <laughs> 